I can definitely see how a hard mode of that version would be fairly difficult. Trust Hothouse and Bughouse of the Gate does not work that well. I can believe that, yeah. It, they actually only give you hothouses in this. You can't even make hunters. So I'll actually keep that in mind if we ever do a hard mode run of the first scenario. Which we may, depending on how much time we have to play the game. <laughs> Turns out it doesn't work that well. I guess that makes sense. Our city is ready for the storm. We just made met 8,000 coal. Now all we have to do is wait and hope we, uh, we have done enough to survive. The poor bastard Manchester, though, hope rises. We will save those poor bastards, I promise. So it's interesting, there is no honor or, uh, or faith in this one. You never get to that point because you're simply focused the entire time on finding or running the city as automatons. So there's not really a chance to quell the rebellion if you, if you uh, end up making one. Which is kind of weird. What a lovely morning. I'm ready to take on the city. <laughs> Let's get moving. I wonder what we'll accomplish today. Probably everything, chat. You know, that is the thing about these types of games and this game in, in, in general. Oh, sorry. This game and these types of games in general is you can just sink, like, so many hours playing them. Or into playing them. Is it a leak of an image of how my first game went? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, permit you real quick. There you go! If you need more time, just ask me again and I will would love to re-permit you. Alright, so we're, we're, we're doing really well. We're doing fantastic. Huh, I got an error. I was not able to uh, access this image, unfortunately. But I would love to see. Not really sure why that, one, uh, why that link didn't work. All right, let's uh, turn the heater off on this one. I guess it's inoperative, so it automatically goes off anyway. But I imagine it went stellar, or, or did it go horrible? Horribly. I feel like it has to be one of the two. I feel like I remember you saying that your first run of the game went really well, especially compared to mine, where like 150 people died. All right, we are gaining a lot of steel now, but we uh, we still do have three days left. We actually might be able to hit this. I could do some quick mental maths and figure it out, but maybe, I think we'll just risk it. All right, um, let's go ahead and get the, 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 the fourth generator power. Actually, no, before we do that, we're gonna research. should we research? I don't really feel like we need advanced coal mines, to be completely honest. I usually like to go and try and do that. Well, I would, I feel like normally try and do that, but we, are, we have a huge supply of coal right now. Although maybe when we turn the generator up, we won't. Maybe we should do that. No, we don't, we don't have any steam, steam cores, so we would have to have at least one to upgrade and we won't be able to do that. We will not be able to do that. Let's go ahead and get the coal consumption efficiency model down. And then we'll get the three, the third tier. So the sooner we get the efficiency upgrade, the less coal we'll spend in the next five days. Um, and then we can upgrade the coal power in that gap. So even if we have to go to that, that tier, we will already have been using a more efficient engine until that point. I think that, that seems smarter and more efficient. I really do like the zoomed in graphics of, of this game. They're quite beautiful. They're cr they're quite pretty. I I just in general like steampunk settings like this. Like Yeah. Uh I completely blank for a second there. Steampunk settings like Dishonored. And I think Dishonored was really the game that brought my uh love for steampunk games to life 
God, I love those games. And I'm kind of sad that the current set, the current, like, model of Dishonored is over. They only made the three games. Three and a half games. I really did love the last Dishonored game. It's quite good. Alright. So we're really, I mean, just kind of flying through this. This is going really well. Three days, we've gotten 200 steel. I don't really feel like we need to up our stockpiles anymore because we're not really super using the resources, but we don't really need to produce the resources anyway. Um, ah, let's just go ahead and turn this up. In the inter intermediary time, I believe the image somewhere else. If you can give me permission again, that would be great. Absolutely. And Aurora, if you um. If you would like to post things like that in our Discord, you are always welcome to as well. It's just exclamation mark Discord in the chat and it will be there. Hey, there we go. Imager links do indeed work. Whoa! Holy shit, Zinzi! <laughs> oh my god! That is an industrial complex! Jesus! That is like 10 tiers above what our thing looked like to begin with. Damn, man, that is amazing. <laughs> I am impressed by that. <laughs> I, I am impressed by that. <laughs> that is gigantic. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. And Meepers, hello, money head. Run if thou, you beautiful human beings. Welcome in, Max Red Meepers. Yes, Queen McNugget, how was the Fortnite tonight? How's it going, my friends? The people were working for fun, it sounds like it, or that was insane. Uh, guys, if you're not, uh... If you are a Fortnite fan and you're not following Meepers Yace, you are making a mistake! So go click that link if you like Fortnite, and toss that man a follow, he's a beautiful human being. How's it doing? Good brother, won four solos tonight, played duos with a buddy afterwards, hell yeah, dude! That's awesome! I know you don't like super enjoy playing solos either, so I'm impressed that you were able to do it, win those solos, and get through it, man. That's super cool. <laughs> Money head run a thou. <laughs> I love that. Max Red is great to see you in here, Queen as well. How's it going, Quan and Max? How are you both doing? Reich wasn't on today, Rip. <laughs> that moment when your duo partner is not available. Sad times. I don't know if any of you have seen this game, it's called Frostpunk, and it is an absolutely beautiful and engaging city-building survival winter simulator. It is so good, so, so great. My KDC is 6.75! That's amazing, dude! My KDA in those games is always trash. How's the automaton going? Wonderfully! If you look here, we have nine! We have nine automatons! Actually, I just noticed one's not even working, so we should... <laughs> We should probably put one to work somewhere. I guess at the sawmill? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. <laughs> and they were just cruising through. We have enough to we have enough resources to survive the winter right now, which is great. As you can see, in two days, the major storm is going to hit. Um, we've upgraded almost everything all the way. We're currently researching generator efficiency. Then we're going to go to level 5 generator. The only thing that's problematic is we need to find 600 steel or make 600. <gasps> Ooh, that's really bad. Um, hmm. <laughs> You've capped out on a steel. That is not good. That's not optimal at all. We need to have the ability to produce steel. So we need to get 600 steel so we can save this neighboring town. If not, their, their whole population is going to die, which would suck. Queen is going well. I'm glad to hear that. How the games go today? They're going great. They're going so well. We actually platinumed God of War today. On hard difficulty, we finished the challenge. It's been amazing. It feels good to get that platinum in, that 100%. And so tomorrow morning, we're going to be starting God of War on uh, ultra difficulty mode to really enter hell. Uh, that is, that's what we're going to be trying to do. I see you haven't become a dictator. We have not, actually. Apparently in this one, you don't have the option to do fascism slash dictator in ship or faith. You can't do either of those. It's just the, the generic game trying to save the seedling arcs from the winter. 
I'm on the Val Queen. Oh, nice meepers. On challenge difficulty, I expect. Watching man's playthrough looks so hard. It is on God of War difficulty. It's insane. So I am uh, excited to go try that out. That where is she clip? I would love to see a where is she clip. I don't know what that means, but I would love to see it. And hello, so Kim Boopers. How are you today? Welcome into the channel. The Faith and Order is only the first scenario I've heard. Interesting. So we'll, we'll probably play the third scenario after this and maybe go do another run of the first scenario if we have time. What do you think of the home ending? Oh, it was so good, Meepers. Very short, but set the, the, uh, set the game up with the second tier ending so well. I'm so ready for it. I mean, sorry, not the second tier ending. The, the next game. Ready for that. I absolutely am. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. We'll probably we'll probably platinum the next game as well if it's as good as this one. I know, right? Our links loud in chat. If you are a sub, they are. If you're not a sub, I can permit you, and then they are as well. So yes, that is the answer. Game of the year for sure, me because I can never say that, man, because I played games last year that I was like, oh, this game is my favorite game of the year, and then towards the end, I mean, we, there are so many games coming out this year that are just going to be amazing that I'm excited to play. Like the new Metro is coming out that I've been looking forward to that for forever. Um, there's From Software is gonna come out with another game, which is like obviously gonna be mind blowing. Where is she? Is this from? Is this from Meepers? I will watch that later. I I hope that that is Meepers screwing up royally, or at least doing something goofy and hilarious. That is my hope. What we need is to collect, connect, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this right now. We must do this for channel branding. We're gonna connect this road right here. Oh God, it's it's all. Mm. Ah, there we go. And it's gonna be a rough triangle sort of maybe a little bit. <laughs> we can do it chat. Let's waste some wood. It's just boys being silly. I've heard that they have a tendency to do that, especially when their names are Meepers and Meepers Duo Partner. So yeah, Meepers, I can't say for sure, man. I play a lot of single player, really good story-based games. So I don't know, but I will say it's definitely gonna be, I can say for certain it's gonna be in the top five. I can say that without a doubt. Uh, it will be indeed in the top five games of the year for me. I hope. Unless some really crazy good games come out later on. And Meepers, once again, man, thank you for that host. Very much appreciated. Okay, let's go ahead and start, put this for some steel. That should bump us up. Oh, it bumped us up, up a, a good amount, actually. Money head! <laughs> I agree. What else is on the horizon? RD. Yeah, that is. I actually have never played uh, Red Dead Redem Redemption 1. So I'm gonna be going in kind of blind to the story with Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't even know if we will be doing Red Dead Redemption 1, but we may at some point. The next major new release uh, is gonna be, that we're gonna play is Detroit Become Human, which I'm excited for. I think it comes out on the 25th of this month. And there's a, co a couple smaller games coming out uh, as well. <laughs> of course, thank you much. Thank you very much, man. First time of the stream, dude, Max Red, of course, man. That's absolutely okay. I just enjoy getting to say hi to you, man. Gotta head to bed, though. Good night, everyone. Good night, Max Red. Enjoy your sleep, my friend. Enjoy it. We have so much coal. Uh, we're gonna need to restockpile this coal. Oh, I mean, add some more stockpile areas for the coal here pretty soon. Hope you stub your toe. I'll do you one up. I hope you break your foot. Wait, wait a second. What are we, what are we doing here? I, I got caught up in the internet culture, the rage of the moment. <laughs> Max Red, I apologize for saying I hope you break your foot. I take it back. I only hope you stub your toe. <laughs> Max Red, you taken out. How the hell does that even happen? How the hell is, what? What? What is going on? 
Who? <laughs> Who messed with my Nightbot? Wow? Wow is a blacklisted word? <laughs> Who did that? No one did that. Nightbot took you out for a blacklisted word that apparently is wow. We've been having some weird problems with Nightbot lately. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to go adjust that soon. I've never seen that in my entire life. Alright, actually, can someone do me a favor? Can someone type wow in chat real quick? Look at that! It's nothing! It's <laughs> it just hates Max Red for some reason. That is the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow. Wow, chat, wow. Who is the per who is the, the person who is famed for typing wow? I mean for saying wow in such a weird way? Wow! Wow, chat! <laughs> it's Taz! <laughs> there it is! Ah, wow! <laughs> ah, wow, indeed. Let's get some more coal stockpiled here. The, even though we don't even need... Owen Wilson! That's what it is! Thank you, Quan. <laughs> wow, indeed! <laughs> Oh god. Alright, we need to we need to upgrade our researcher. We're just gonna get third tier generator. Nightbot is spoken against I'm just gonna leave. Max I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that you got targeted like that. It's downright chatism. <laughs> Complete another chatism, and I do not approve of it. I will be having very harsh words with Nightbot shortly. <laughs> Marmo's just about to say someone obnoxious, probably. Owen Wilson, yeah. Uh, probably, probably indeed. Marmo, hello! How are you today, Marmo? And wow. <laughs> have you played They Are Billions? I have not, actually. We just got hosted earlier, however, by a delightful fellow. Wait, is it They Are Billions? Oh, no, that's the wrong game. No, I have not played They, uh, they Are Billions. And wow, that's right. And wow, <laughs> wait, that maybe I should put that as our <laughs> as our follow notification sound at some point. That would be beautiful. Wow, <laughs> I could record that. I could do that. You should play it. I know. I uh, I kind of miss the hype train on that. Actually, to be honest, so here here's the truth about these sorts of games. I don't like look to play these. These are not games. These strategy city building kind of survival games. They're not games that I am like known to love. Um, but I really do love this one. I've been very surprised. Uh, so maybe I will in the future give those types of games like We Are Billions and stuff like that, or They Are Billions and stuff like that, more of a chance. Part of the reason I didn't do They Are Billions is one, because the directory was massive for it, and two, because at the time, Honestly, like when I originally was going to check this game out, I kind of had an aversion to these types of games, especially streaming these types of games. But I have been having so much fun, like an unbelievable amount of fun with this game, so maybe I'll look into it more. Maybe I'll look into, the, into games like They Are Billions in the future. Right, let's keep going. This colony has been such a huge success. It's been amazing. Uh, <laughs> we have... Virtually no discontent. All of this discontent is really just from extra shifts. Oh, you know what? We should switch back from making soup. The soup boys must die. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, we're gonna give them, make them make actual food so their discontent will go down a little bit. Meavers, did you end up playing uh, They Are Billions? Out of curiosity. We're gonna be really squeezed here to make enough steel to make it to the new colony. We only have one day left. I'm a little bit worried about that. You would probably enjoy, yeah, you know, now that I've played this, now that I've played this, and I kind of, I kind of had completely forgotten about They Are Billions, but I think you're right, I really do think I would enjoy that game. Uh, especially the survival aspect of it with the giant amount of uh, zombies and stuff, which is something obviously I think is entertaining. I mean, it would be cool. I really think you would. I can gift you if you want me, but you do not have to do that, my man. Uh, if we're gonna play it, I will. Uh, I will buy it myself. Not a big deal, dude. And especially, I especially would discourage you from doing that because there's not a good, there's not a huge chance we'll stream it with the upcoming uh, releases. We're gonna be pretty, uh, pretty packed. But if we do stream it, I will uh, absolutely buy it myself. 
Mostly, though, I, I say that because I wouldn't want you to give it to me and then <laughs> us not play it on stream. That would be kind of... I'd feel kind of sad about that, if you know what I mean. But thank you very much for the offer, dude. I do appreciate that. Alright. Now. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Oh, Memes, you're such a gentleman you are! Indeed, Memes, you really are. <laughs> I do appreciate the offer. Uh, one day... Alright, I don't know if we're gonna make this. So we have, what is this, 4.9, so we have 5, so we have 10 per hour. We have 24 hours. That means we're gonna, we're gonna make around 240 in one day. So we actually will make, we'll get enough steel? But I don't know if we're gonna have time to actually send the automaton and get there. That's the shitty thing. So I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. <laughs> so nice Sue. So nice Sue indeed. <laughs> so yeah, Amoebers, how are you enjoying that Valk Queen? Have you how many tries have you gotten to put into her yet? She is uh quite the contemptible lady. Look at this, this is kind of a triangle. Look at the channel branding, chat! When I say kind of, I mean, like, really, you have to stretch your imagination. Honestly, that kind of looks more like a Christmas tree. <laughs> ah, good times, good times. <laughs> The little dot, dot three. What a cute face, Meepers. What a cute face indeed. By the way, speaking of cute things, the new low latency thing on Twitch is looks phenomenal. I can't wait till they spread that around a little more than just in the beta. All right. So we're gonna make ourselves a Christmas tree. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> It'll be beautiful. And then... We just gotta hope and pray. We're pretty much just in the clear. We really could just... Just turn it sideways like this and just sit here and watch for the next hour as we sped through things. Through things. Um, we're not gonna use any more steel because I'm worried that if we do, we won't meet the, man, the new Manchester steel limit. But hopefully... Hopefully we'll be able to. I, the one thing we would be using steel here in the future for would be researching, which we obviously will be continuing to do. Uh, but that's pretty low amounts of steel. Only like 20 to 25, I believe. 40 maximum. And then maybe building another medical post. Although I don't... We haven't researched the medical post upgrades yet, so I'm not sure if we're even going to be able to do that. But the medical posts do seem to be good at staying uh, staying warm. They're, pre they're pretty well insulated. There it is! That is our next upgrade, so let's go ahead and grab the overdrive couplings. Um, this will give us more generator efficiency when the gener when we do have to put in overdrive, which I'm guessing, since the massive winter storm is coming, it's going to drop down to negative 150 again, and we will have to put in overdrive. So hopefully that'll work. Hopefully that'll work very well. Yeah, I just say, me, uh, Meepers, I'm a little bit... <laughs> I'm a little scared for tomorrow. Uh, a little scared for the God of War Ultra difficulties playthrough. It's going to be very... Ridiculous, very ridiculous. It's off time. Off time. I'm ready to spend like an hour on that first major combat section. <sighs> Alright, so we're not cooking, and the only reason we're not cooking is because we. Actually, why? Oh, okay, never mind. I take it back. We are cooking. I was gonna say we're capped out on rations, but I don't think we are. We still have 21 hours left. So yeah, I was right. We are only going to get this 600 steel limit when we have about, I don't know, like 20-ish hours. Actually, not not 20-ish hours. Like 12 or 13 hours. I would guess it's going to be, it's going to take a while. Maybe not. Let's speed things up. Let's see, let's see how fast we get there. I think if we can get there by 15 hours left before the storm, the automaton may be able to make it in time. Maybe. So what we'll do is, when we get to 600 steel, we'll just disband this one steel maker and send that automaton out. 
Yikes! Yikes, 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 Chad. Look how warm everything is, though. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Night comes! 75, we need 25 more steel. We need two hours, two and a half hours approximately. Little, a little more than two, um, than two and a half hours. Our discontent is way down though, which is really good. So once we get the uh, the steel, we'll have enough wood already, and we just have to disband one of these automatons and send them out. I think. And one automaton and send the relief expedition. That should be it. I think so. <laughs> we'll see. I guess. Get all these fools living in houses. It's so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> I, I have to say, I do think that this scenario is probably easier than the base scenario. Though I'm not entirely certain if it's the fact that it's easier or if we're just better at the game. I think it's probably a, a large mixture of Oh, there it is! Let's get moving and wonder what we'll accomplish. Okay, so let's free this automaton. You hit over 600, we did, and I wasn't paying attention, so thank you for saying that, Aurora. Um, how do we even send out the expedition? Do we just send it out through here? Why have we not gotten the check mark? You know what would suck? I don't think this is the case, though. Yeah, I was gonna say it would suck if we had to send them out by doing research, but it doesn't look like we do. So what's the deal with this? Why, uh... Why are we not able to do this? Maybe we can leave it on one speed and it'll trigger, though it doesn't look like it is. Oh, maybe we don't have enough time? That seems not right as well. I'm missing something important here, chat. So we have a free automaton. There's not one working here. Obviously, you can see right there it says at the bottom one out of nine free. We have 600 steel. We have uh, way over 600 wood. And send relief expedition. Maybe there's just not enough times so the game is telling us we can't do it. Maybe. Seems kind of weird. Never watched you play this scenario before? Also says one out of three, so I think you're going to fail anyway. Yeah, I know, but that's, I agree. I agree with that. But the weird thing is it says one out of three, and we have all three components, right? That That's what's strange to me. The arrow twice. Oh my god, thank you, last fish! I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. I have an emote <laughs> just for that situation. Holy mess. Chat MVP, seriously, thank you. Wow! <laughs> thank you so much, last fish. And by the way, I like your name. We've been getting so many people with like with delightful names in here lately. The last fish of them all! The last fish to save our asses. That's what the last fish is. Thank you very much. Seriously, I do appreciate that. There it is! Food for New Manchester. We sent the expedition now. They're gonna go. Pepper MG, that is right. Absolutely. Hype and good vibes as well. I've held this function for a while, yeah. We've never had to do that before. I there was an arrow there, but I just was completely missing it. That's uh my <laughs> My bumbling coming in handy there. I'm glad to have you and everyone else here to assist with that moment. Perfection. All right, with, ba with basic shelter gear, the most pressing need is food. Hunger has forced these people to dire things, to do dire things. 
It's cannibalism. May God forgive them. Gather enough food rations and have automatons carry them to new Manchester. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't really want to waste another automaton, but... Oh! 2,000 food rations? We actually, you know what? If we had upped our stock amount, we probably would have hit this already. That's not going to happen. So we're just going <laughs> to... We're just going to give up on that. We also don't have enough automatons, we don't have enough steam cores. So it's gonna be just just the one. We're just the one level of assistance. Uh, let's go ahead and disband this. I agree, I agree. I actually assumed that it was just the the one resource. So if we ever do this again, we'll have to go uh, make sure we stockpile enough on both sides. Not only do not only do, do we have uh, not have enough time, but we don't have 2,000 food anyway, and I don't even think we might be able to squeeze another 1,000 out in the next 9 hours if we built some more things and had some more automatons, but we don't really have the automatons to do it either, so I, I think you're right, Last Fish. I think we there is no way. So I actually don't know what that means. I don't know if we'll save them, and don't tell me. I'd love to see when we finish the run, uh, or if it's just going to be GG for, uh, for Manchester. Hopefully we're able to save them, though. I think we should build uh, some more resource depots. Stock up on some more stuff. What's going on? The people oppose you. Sir, the concerned engineers are here again. They argue that sending supplies to New Manchester endangers our mission. We came here ready to give our lives so the Earth can be reborn. We can't forfeit it. All now. Please show us that you understand the importance of our mission. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we have seven automatons. We don't have time to get these other ones sent out anyway, so we're gonna keep at least six here. I would have considered not doing this, uh, doing this, sending out more automatons if we actually had time to gather the resources, but I don't, I don't think there's any way we're gonna have time to do that. Unfortunately, sad days for the, the people of Manchester. May their cannibalism be forgiven. Possibly. Six automatons working in the city. We're gonna have seven. No, we're gonna have eight working in the city at all times. So we should be a-okay. How many people do we have that are amputees? No one! Okay, so we made enough. Um, we made enough prosthetics for all of them to work again, which is good, even though none of them are working. I, I feel good. I feel like a good Samaritan for doing that. And that's all that matters, right? Really, there's no reason for doing any of this stuff. We may, we could go get a, a, a fighting arena just for the uh, kicks and giggles, but nah. We're gonna, we're gonna do this morally, morally correct. But although I guess a fighting arena wouldn't be against uh, necessarily unmoral, especially since like boxing and MMA and things like that are all real things that are perfectly okay. <laughs> It does seem, I don't know, a little unnecessary at this point. Alright, let's speed this up. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Actually, we can probably just throw this on level 3 and just watch things take place. I don't know how much longer there is till the storm, but it can't be that long, right? Look at our Christmas tree! It's beautiful, look at it. It even has a little stump. We're, we've done good work here, chat. We've done good work. Alright, let's go ahead and get... Which I'm not sure what we're going to do here. We get heater efficiency or we can get generator bypass. I think we're going to get generator bypass first. Or maybe the medical post upgrade as well. Or house insulation. Let's, let's do house insulation. As soon as we get hit... Because that'll keep our people from getting sick in the first place, and then we won't have to worry about, uh... Treating them anyway, so it really won't matter. Supplies ready! Oh yeah, we've gathered those supplies to uh, survive the storm. Which we... knew already! Does that act automatically trigger the event? It can't, right? Satellites, we've done it. Oh, we just got so many achievements for that. This will be our legacy, the final test of our city begins. 
Oh damn, I was kind of excited. We did our best. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, as soon as we got that stock, it just ends? I didn't know that. Exactly! I completely agree with that last uh, last fish. That is the, the primary difference. I think the base mission is easier, but you have to choose to avoid stuff. Uh, or to sacrifice things to save Manchester City. And I actually didn't realize it would just end like that. I thought we'd be able to continue to research. So there's no, like, actual storm. So if we play this again, we're gonna have to prioritize Manchester. We found another city. Helpless in the cold. And we left it to die, pretty much. Yeah, it was kind of weird. I'm not, I wasn't expecting that. Last time there was a massive storm. But didn't do enough! No! They perished! They perished, chat. Your legacy. <laughs> oh no! Dang, I'm kind of disappointed that that uh, ended up that way. Try to say all next time, last fish. Absolutely. When if we if slash when we do that scenario again, we definitely will. Uh, we'll be prepared to know we need to go ahead and stock up and sacrifice more automatons to do it. I actually don't know how many automatons we'd be able to have. Uh, we had nine that run. I think if maybe if we sacrificed one more coal station that's been upgraded, we could potentially have one or two more, and then not even have to worry about that. I think increased efficiency could probably save the entire city. We'll see. But, unfortunately, that did not end up exactly how we wanted it. We did, however, survive. The arcs made it. The seeds of humanity will go into the future. Uh, and with that, guys, that is going to be it for me. For this evening's stream, we will be back to tomorrow for two streams. One, we're going to start God of War on ultra difficulty uh, mode and see how much it whoops us. And then uh, two, we're going to be playing some more Frostbunk. Probably the third scenario we're going to be trying it out. I actually have no idea what it is. I haven't even looked at it. Uh, but I'm excited to go ahead and try it out another evening stream about this time. You can use coal bumper instead of coal mines. Yes, we can. That's absolutely true. We actually usually start out using the coal, mine, the coal bumper, but... Um, I don't know, it, it feels less efficient for some reason, especially as we have to have two, two stations or two to four stations operating it at all times on top of the workload. It seems kind of rough. Uh, but I don't know. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you enjoy the cast, feel free to drop a follow on your way out. Uh, that way you can keep up with what we were doing. We do go live every single day, and we'll be playing some more of this game and some more of God of War tomorrow. It's going to be a very, very fun time, and I look forward to spending it, spending it with you all. It's been nice to meet you, to see some new faces in chat. Thanks again. Once again, for all the hosts, uh, all of you wonderful people have been amazing to me, and I do sincerely appreciate all the support, letting me be here every single day, hanging out with you, playing games with you. Uh, it's been a blast. We are going to play some music here in a second and roll some credits to thank all of our wonderful supporters, and then we're going to be passing the hype train on of hosting to hopefully another wonderful caster if anyone is live. Uh, I will type in chat as we end where we're going to be going, so if you would like to stick around, support me a little more, and support whichever caster we do end up hosting, uh, feel free to stay around to the end, end of the credits, that is when that will happen. Once again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out, enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are around the world, and good luck out there! Until we return, I'll see you in the future. Have a great one, guys.